Sweet. I got two more questions for you. First one is just a quick, cheeky one. Nitro got murdered by your oh, Hunter no. Spear. Please talk to me about what was going on in comms in that moment. Yeah, we, we were doing a specific setup, a specific setup, and I had my alt ready, and I'm like, ah, oh, if they rush B, I'll be able to help you. Let's look at that specific setup. At the beginning of the round, Under Thieves has their Sky A main, Sova and Jet on Cat, Omen B main, and KO on B. Sky and Omen are both aggressively peeking the extremities for early info, while Sova and Jet are aggressively peeking tiles and probably committing to that mid fight if Havan Liberty decides to peek out. Keep in mind that Havan Liberty are on a save round, so Hunter Thieves makes a read that they'll do a 5 man B rush with their weaker guns. This is also why Hunter Thieves is willing to peek so aggressively at the start of the round because 1. They know that they have the better guns, and 2. Getting early info will let Hunter Thieves be more proactive in adapting the setup if needed. But what makes this specific setup special is the fact that Hiko has his Sova ult. To start off the round, Omen throws a one-way smoke in B main. This smoke gives Omen an advantage in the B main fight because he'll be able to see the enemy's toes while the enemies won't be able to see him unless they wide swing out into the open. Havan Liberty's game plan is to rush B, so they swing past the smoke with their Sky Dog, they Asher Suck, Silver Recon, and Omen is forced to back up. But this is all according to a Hundred Thieves plan. He gets stunned but lands a clean kill on the peeking jet. And during this time, Omen is coming to his team, they're rushing B, they're rushing B. And so as KO throws a knife from B site to B main, and look, it scans all five members of Havan Liberty. Sova, who's on Cat, sees that info and gets an insane angle for Sova all into B main from Cat. Unfortunately, he must have gotten nervous. I mean, you know, he was about to get an ace with the Sova ult. So he was probably already imagining what he'll tweet afterwards. And he doesn't hit any enemies, but kills his omen instead. Unlucky. So this setup works because 100 Thieves has so much info on the extremities. This way, Hiko can Sova ult off of that info and almost guarantee his ult will hit someone because of his insane Sova ult angle from Cat. Although he didn't get a 5k this time, it's still a super solid setup that's relatively easy to do. So I would highly recommend you try it in your games. Alright, I'm going to play out the rest of the retake because 100 Thieves land some pretty nasty shots. But with that being said, have a great day guys and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Highway side, get right in. Oh my god, this is so tense right now. Oh. Good Havan, pull back another round. Austin up playing on the other side of smoke, slowly works his way forward onto the cloud versus Hiko. And Ethan Wade on the other side. Oh my word. Here Spike we go. Continuing to tick away. Still got quite a bit of time. And doing, yep. Decent amount of view to left as well. Asuna gets in. Asuna gets dropped oh, from the what? skies, but Ethan for three. Looking for the last one in the back of the side. He gets oh four. Oh, my God. They get the defuse. 100 Thieves at seven.